In this tutorial, we will learn some meshing techniques and design modular features. For this purpose, we have a mechanical component that is to be analyzed. As we have already covered certain features of design modeler, we will only deal with meshing techniques in this video. First, to get a structured mesh, we need to split the geometry into sections that can be swept by the mesher of ANSYS. To make this easy and possible, we split the geometry where irregularities occur. Select Slice option from Create. Select Slice by Surface. Then specify the surface from which we want to split our body. Click Generate or simply press F5 key. Now we have two different frozen bodies. Repeat the same procedure for splitting body at discontinuities. Now we have four different bodies that are much easier to handle in meshing. This time, we only want to split one body. So, we specify it from drop down option available below. Now, to split the base, Generate a plane. Select from point and edge. Remember that the point must not lie on the line. Now, that we have created a plane, we can easily split the base from it. Repeat the same procedure. But this time, Choose Slice by Plane. Generate it. Repeat the same procedure for the other side. A plane can also be created taking one of the other planes as base plane. We can offset this plane in any direction. Since, we only need to slice the last body from Y's E axis, we don't need to offset it. Note that we could have used the YZ axis instead. This plane was only created for illustrating different methods of creating a plane. This body was already sweepable, but we split it to have better control over the mesh size. We have 10 different solid bodies. Select all of them and create new part. This is necessary to ensure the nodes match at the common edges between different bodies. Also, Modular would create contact surfaces between different bodies otherwise. This is not desirable unless we wanted to model slider joint or frictional movements between parts. But that is a story for another time. Now, on to meshing. Our strategy is to obtain structured mesh one by one in different bodies. Easiest way to do this is to suppress the neighboring bodies and give the required sizing conditions to the one under consideration. The edges so formed by splitting the body will be used to control the dimensions of mesh elements in different regions. Give same element size or number of elements to edges through which you want the same family of lines to pass. Otherwise, we will not get structured mesh. Keep the behavior as hard. 
This ensures formation of elements of same dimension. Generate the mesh. We didn't obtain hexahedral mesh by default, but the element size is just as what we wanted. Insert meshing method for mesh structuring. Multi-zone method finds different sweepable zones in the selected geometry and forms hexahedral mesh there. Where structuring is not possible, it forms free mesh there. But we already have sweepable geometries, so it won't be a problem. Simple hexadominant method creates unstructured hexahedral meshing on free surfaces but hexacore option structures it too. That is why we selected hexacore option. Choose inside surface as source for sweep. In multi-zone we can select multiple sources and multiple targets, an option which is not available in simple traditional sweep. Structured hexacore meshing is achieved. Unsuppress the neighboring body now and repeat the same procedure for it too. In this way we create structured meshing in different bodies one by one. Press F9 key to hide the surface if it blocks the required surface. We can bring it back by pressing Shift plus F9 key. We can refine the mesh by giving edge sizing. Repeat the same procedure again. Suppress all the neighboring bodies. Give same element size to edges that will have same family of lines passing through them.
repeat the same procedure again. While controlling element size, make sure not to select any edge common to the geometry which has already been meshed. Otherwise, its mesh will be disturbed and created again. Here we will choose two sources for sweep. Unsuppress one of the remaining geometries and repeat the same procedure. We want to create meshing lines parallel to this surface. So, we select it as the source for this body. This body is surrounded by structured meshing from three edges. Simply generating mesh in it should create structured mesh. Again, don't select edges that are part of already meshed bodies. Hexahedral mesh is formed. Though it is not structured at some areas, it is still acceptable. The reason why it is still unstructured at some part is that it has different number of elements on either side, because of which it has to make a transition between unequal number of elements. We can structure it by increasing the number of elements on the other side. For it, we must go back to the body from which this family of lines originated. It is the rectangular box in the middle. 
The advantage of structured mesh is that we can increase or decrease mesh elements size in any area of the geometry and save computational power. Also, mesh independence is generally achieved faster in structured meshing. Regenerate mesh in bodies one by one. Now the mesh is perfectly structured in all areas of the geometry. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. If you have any queries or suggestions, feel free to mention them in the comments. Thank you for watching.